Hello and welcome to EV Review Ireland. My name is Derek Riley. Today we are looking at the MG ZS EV, the new 2022 edition. It's the refreshed one with the lovely 10 inch screen. And what we're going to be talking about is the specifically the MG Pilot. And within that, then we're going to look at the traffic jam assist and the intelligent speed control. I know some people are very interested in this. So how do we get that? So we're going to talk about the intelligent speed control first. So I have to go into the settings. And so you've got dual panes in the settings and in vehicle. And then you've got MG Pilot, convenience, lighting, vehicle information. So if we go to MG Pilot, it is going to talk about lane assistance, uh, emergency lane keeping system. Have a look at that and or the alert. So it'll show you whether you want to, uh, it wants to write you into the lane or you want to just be alert. Uh, the alert sensitivity, the audible warning, the ver vibration reminder. So that's the lane assistance. Then you've got the front collision, collision assistance system, pedestrian automatic braking, rear driving assistance for blind spot, etc. etc. And then the speed assist. So the speed warning is on, and then the speed control mode. I change that then to intelligent. And so what that means then is we have up on the dash here, uh, and I've got my GoPro set up here to record what's up here. Uh, you'll see that coming on and off. So it's off altogether. And then we have it manual. Will come on and then you can set it by turning up or down, down here. And that's increasing it then. You can see it's 35, 40. So you can set it manually and it's MSA, manual speed assist up on the top left hand corner there or if I change that around then to intelligent then it says ISA and so now it's set so now in theory the car shouldn't let me go over the speed limit of the area that I'm in now you can override that by pressing by pressing the pedal down uh, if you need to get out of something's way or overtake something or if there's something coming up behind you so that's the intelligent um, speed assistance speed warning and then the other speed assist and then the other one we want to talk about is the um, traffic jam assist so with that then you've got your cruise control down here and you can see it up on the dash there uh, and if I twist that up and down that will so I'm going to turn it on so up on the dash there you can see if I twist that up and down it's increasing the, this distance to the car in front of me and if I pull it towards it again double tap you can see that that second icon came up on the screen and so now it's traffic jam assist so what that means is it is going to stop start in traffic so the first thing we're going to talk about we're going to have to turn that off it's unintelligent so on either one or the other you can't have both so we're going to try the intelligent speed assist first we're going to take a quick drive around i'll speed up the footage uh, and see exactly what we're up to but otherwise it uh, and then we'll do the traffic jam we'll have to go and find some traffic whoever thought you'd hear me saying something like that or somebody want to find traffic so i'll take the gopros up and we will do intelligent speed assist first that's a nice feature actually there when you're turning it brings up the blind spot on the uh, 360 camera as well so it hasn't picked up any um speed signs yet just because i haven't passed any so you could fill your boots now if you wanted to and then we're away bum, 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 bum. so we are coming up on 60 now so it's picked up the 60 kilometers in theory it shouldn't let me go faster than that but i'm up to traffic Mm, this isn't the traffic one, this is the one where we're doing speed assist. So let me increase this and this. Yes. Okay, so we're at 30 kilometers an hour, 40, 50, 6. Okay, so it's, it's letting me do it. Oh, okay, I have to press the button at the end. So now it's engaged. When it's, or, when it's amber, it's not engaged. Okay, interesting. That's good to know. You can figure that out fairly quickly, I suppose. So 
56 oh nice yeah okay so even though I'm pressing the accelerator down further it's not letting me go any faster than 60 very smart I like it so we're gonna do a bit of dual carriageway to see does it pick it up that's very smart so there's a manual there's a um, intelligent Car in front of me. So the blind spot only activates below a certain speed. The traffic jam assist only activates less than 56 kilometers an hour as well. So you're obviously not gonna be in track. Well, you could be, I suppose, but that's where the adaptive cruise control takes over then if you're moving along at that speed. So we should be back up to 60 then. I didn't see it. Oh no, it did, we're back up to 80, very good. Okay, that works well. We bring it into the town and then I'll pull in and turn on traffic jam assist. I'd say Dunleary, a couple of Sundays before Christmas will be full of the traffic. So like any speed recognition system, it's only as good as where the local authority and the National Transport Authority have put their signs. So if one sign is close to another, it may pick up the wrong signs. So you just have to be conscious and be aware of your driving and have control of your vehicle at all times. It's sensible stuff really when you think about it, but just so that you know. So intelligent speed assist can only be activated when cruise control and traffic dram assist are all off. And so the secondary stock on the left hand side, the smaller one down near my knee, that is in the off position, which is the furthest away from you. For you to activate cruise, you pull it forward once and then you can increase or decrease up or down your cruise control. So for traffic dram assist, it has to have a, it has to pick up a speed sign so it says, no, no, that's 50, double tap forward. I can set it to 30. And so now it knows that there's a car in front of me. What should happen is when this car pulls off, but the, the traffic jam assist light hasn't been activated, so let me lock on here. Once that goes green, all you'll need to do then is, oh yeah, it's working there now. Interesting. So that's, oh yeah, here we go, green light. So it's following the car in front, it's steering as well, and when that car in front brakes, I'm gonna brake as well. Now when, if I come to a complete stop, I'll need to either press the accelerator or pull the um, traffic jam assist slash cruise control slash MG pilot stock towards me. So I won't touch on it then, you can see my feet here, they're not moving. And I think what comes up on the dash is it'll say resume or press the accelerator. So I think I could increase my speed limited cruise control because I'm in a 50. And so once these lights go green, I should be good to go. 
and I can, when the indicator comes on, I can see what's beside me, what's behind, around me, pick which camera I want to look at. The loudest indicator I've ever heard. So traffic is pulling away. Nice. Didn't press the accelerator, used the used the uh, the resume stock. It's probably a bit fast for that corner in 40, but um, we'll bring it down to 30, 30 as we're in an urban area. It knows I'm going across the line there. 35 so now it's in line don't know what I've taken that corner now but anyway you're supposed to keep your hands on the steering wheel yeah that's traffic jam assist that is intelligent speed assist hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode just something a bit more detailed and some of the key features of electric vehicles they're going to do a bit more of this you would have seen recently i put out the kia ev6 which has the remote parking smart assist or remote smart park assist uh, and that got a good reaction so i said i'd give a bit more of this okay coming up to a car here now it has braked i'm not pressing any pedals and the car comes to a stop and because i've got it as one space it's going to pull me up in behind it. You can change the distance to the car in front as well. We'll bring that down to 35. And then for the final time before we sign off today, I'll just pull the stalk towards me to resume. And it says it on the stalk, it says off, then cancel on and resume. So when it, when it beeps that the car in front of me is gone, I'll just pull that towards me and the actual car will move forward. Yeah. Lots of good assistance, lots of good value in this MG ZS EV 2022 edition. The initial first impressions and first drive video has over 20, 25,000 views at this stage. Um, it's going, performing really well. Um, very popular across Europe. Going to pull away. It's going to beep. Resume. Thank you, Mrs. Or Mr. MG. And we're away. Following that car in front of us. Adaptive. It goes faster very good remember if you think an ev is for you leave it to me and i will review thanks so much for watching